Attorney General Steve Marshall says an Etowah County woman will feel the full force of justice after exploiting an elderly woman from her life savings. Tonight, a warning about this type of crime and what the state is doing to try and prevent it from happening to your loved one. Penalties are now stronger when it comes to elder abuse in Alabama. This past week, Lisa Donnery pleading guilty to stealing more than 10 million from an elderly woman in Etowah County. Court records show Donnery was a technician at Oak Landing Assisted Living. She became power of attorney for the elderly woman there and began transferring the victim's money into her own bank account, buying houses, several cars, and even dental implants. This type fraud is something AARP of Alabama has been working to combat for years. Things that used to be misdemeanors are now felonies. The penalties for these crimes are higher than they used to be. Uh, we continue to look for ways to strengthen those laws. Last year, Governor Ivey signed Shirley's law into effect that creates an elder abuse registry for nursing homes and other elder care agencies to check to see if a person they are looking to hire has been convicted of elder abuse. The law named after Shirley Holcomb, a victim of elder abuse, her daughter worked tirelessly to get it passed. While I never wanted her to go through that and would never wish it on her, um, good has come from evil. AARP says if you have a loved one in assisted living or nursing home, make sure that facility is using the registry system. A lot of these facilities are looking for staff right now. Most of them are understaffed. They have been since the pandemic and they're looking for staff. So we want to be sure that they are utilizing that registry and doing their due diligence on anybody they might be bringing in. Harding says people need to have conversations with their loved ones before they get up in age about things like estate planning to make sure that they do not fall victim to this type of financial fraud. We also have signs you can watch out for in your own loved ones right now on the WBRC News.